Are you getting ready to process payroll and you're tired of seeing the schedule in QuickBooks Desktop, not the right dates, and you're going, how do I edit that? I'm tired of looking at it. You are in the right place. If we've never met before, hello. I'm Candice Camper, and I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And I was getting ready to do something today in here, and I noticed this, and I thought, it's probably a question you've been wondering, and you don't know how to fix it. So come look over my shoulder, and I will show you how to do this in QuickBooks Desktop. So how do you get to this screen? All right, so when you're in here in QuickBooks Desktop, you're under your employee section. Maybe you want to pay your employees, and you keep seeing these are all my little sample ones. You come over here to the payroll tab and you keep seeing these different schedules. If you didn't know, when you go to process payroll in QuickBooks, you can choose a schedule date. And so it helps you if you do consistent payroll to already have the dates in there so you don't have to pick them because you can choose to either do scheduled payroll or unscheduled payroll. And so if these dates ever get off or you've made an adjustment and you're going, how do I get this fixed? All you need to do is go up here to employees, add or edit pay schedules, and then you're going to open one up and you're going to say, what is the pay schedule I want to do? So you're basically letting QuickBooks know, is it weekly, bi-weekly? This is the title that you're going to see here and in the employee section. And then you let it know, what is it? So this is like a monthly salary is what this is set up as. And then what is the pay period? You're literally going to just go in and change it to the date. So if it says 23, 24, 25, or the wrong one, it's like future date. You want to backdate it. You're going to choose what do you want your, when do you want your pay period to end? Okay, so what is the pay period end date? This is the last day the employee is getting paid for on that paycheck. And then here is what date would appear as the paycheck date. So if you pay them on the fifth of every month for the work they did the month before, you just want to make sure that's correct. What day should appear on paychecks for this pay period? And then you're going to choose what day you want it to appear. And so then it tells you a little summary down here. The following is based on the information that you've supplied. Your Paying your employees five days after the pay period date ended, end date in the pay schedule. The paycheck date of the current month is going to be February 5th of 2025 for the pay period of ending January 31st. Okay. If for any reason you are no longer using these pay periods, you can actually just make this as inactive. If you have a huge list, when you leave from here and you go back to this list and you say some of these we're no longer using because you've created different pay periods at different times, or maybe that employee isn't there anymore. You can actually right click on it or go down to the bottom and you're going to want to click edit pay. And then you're going to just make it inactive. It's going to say you can't make it inactive if it is linked to any employees. So if you get that little tip that you can do is go in and actually look at your employees and you're going to click on the little pencil. And when you go under payroll information, it will tell you if you have it set up as weekly and you can change it to be say monthly and then it will change pay frequency. So if you go to make them inactive and you're noticing that that employee is set to the wrong pay schedule or you're wanting to change it up, you literally can go in, click on them. These are just samples that I've done through different trainings and you can set their pay schedule here. Now you may or may not have a pay schedule set for every employee. You might only have a frequency by setting the pay schedule. You're choosing, you're having QuickBooks automatically help you with the dates. So that's how that works. Okay. So then this one's saying, hey, it's due. It's already past February 5th. So if you're like, oh, I picked a date that's already happened, you can literally just go back in and say, what I really want this to be is I'm setting this up for next month. So instead of January, I want it in February. And instead of February, it's now going to be March. And then click OK, and you'll be good to go. And that's it. It's all taken care of. If you enjoyed this tip, let me know down below or any ahas I had. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And if you'd like to get future tips and tricks straight to your inbox, I send these out every single week. Go up above or down below and we'll send them to you. If you're saying, I want to learn more about how to customize QuickBooks to your business this year with all of this and more, make sure to check out our Commerce QuickBooks program. You can find out more about it by going up above or down below. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you inside my next tip and trick. Toodaloo.